Victoria father will spend the rest of his life in prison for abuse and neglect which led to the death of his own son. That boy, Navin Jones, was just eight years old when he died in 2022. Lizzie Siles was in the courtroom for Brandon Walker's 11th hour attempt at a new trial. Tyler, Janice, before Walker received that lengthy sentence, his attorney tried to make a case that his trial was unfair and he deserved a new one. His attorney made several arguments that Walker was a complicit bystander instead of an active participant in his son's abuse, but the judge seemingly didn't buy it. Your client was in the house every day, had every opportunity to, to look at his son, see the emaciated form he took and did nothing. Judge John Vespa grew visibly annoyed at an attempt to get a new trial for Brandon Walker. Walker was convicted of killing his eight-year-old son, Navin Jones, in December. Jones was starved and abused over the course of several months. His mother, Stephanie Jones, pleaded guilty last year. Navin's older brother shared how the crime hurt him through a written statement. Brandon and Stephanie should both go to prison for what they did, and they are the worst people I know. They made him feel like he did something wrong when he never did anything wrong. Walker's attorney argued he didn't know the full extent of the abuse his son was facing. When the judge asked how Walker could see his son get skinnier every day and not take Navin to the hospital, his attorney said Walker wouldn't be able to get him treatment because he wasn't the legal guardian, allegedly from the advice of DCFS. That's one of the arguments his attorney plans to bring up on appeal. He should have just taken the child to the hospital uh, without the backing of DCFS. I, I, I would have followed DCFS. You think they're in control? Stephanie Jones has not been sentenced yet. She is set to be in April. Walker was given the maximum sentence under the guidelines. Vespa, who was visibly upset, said the punishment he wanted to give Walker is no longer legal in Illinois, a possible reference to the death penalty. The judge called it one of the worst cases he's seen in 13 years on the bench. Walker's attorney plans to file a motion to reconsider that sentence and appeal his case. He must complete both motions within the next 60 days.